this is a video segment uh, study of uh, a 45 years old female. Uh, we are seeing the liver and uh, as well as uh, the uh, bright ecogenic area from the traversing from the porta hepatis and above and and it, it is coursing anterior to the portal vein and this is the common bile duct with stent within it. Now this is the uh, portal vein, this is the stent placed within it, this is the liver which is normal outer surface is smooth, liver is not showing any pathology. So regarding the parenchyma, now this is the portal vein. This is the common bile duct in which was, this is the stent that you are seeing placed within this stent because of the obstructive jaundice she had, <coughs> or she has rather now, even now. now why this is a, when I say this is a, a portal vein, you will see blood flow through this vessel. Here we are. Now you can see that uh, this is the portal vein main port vein, these are the hepatic veins, this portal vein shows, if we keep this bar in view, uh, hepatopetal flow, flow direction is normal, <coughs> the uh, flow direction of the hepatic veins is normal, it's hepatofugal and uh, we, don't see, we do not see flow in the duct as uh, it's not vascular, so this is a portal vein. The patient, actually the patient is unable to hold the uh, breath. So, cannot hold the breath and the difficulty I am having because of that. However, you can see that the flow velocity that of the water rate has increased much uh, than the no, expected normal as uh, Excuse me. Now, if I just go from peak to peak, uh, this is the systolic peak one, and here it comes with the resistive index of 0 0.34, PI of 0 0.47, and uh, increased velocity, increased blood flow, direction is normal. So this is uh, regarding the portal vein in this patient as she can't hold the um, she can't hold Saro ko baji dara Sa ni lana I'm asking her to hold the breath, but she's continuously taking, you know, rather in speed. You see, Nakara sa lehi ja rahe ho. Let me try if I can get. Now you can see the portal vein, uh, she is showing uh, blood flow pattern with increased blood <laughs> sorry, excuse me, increased blood flow velocity. So anyways, this is up to here. Now let's move further and uh, let's see the what's the situation in the portal, hep hepatic veins if we can get it. Because 
uh, when the patient cannot hold the breath, he is in a condition, then what to do? In this uh, machine that I have for this, Sir, open up, open up, buddy, my body is ready, buddy, my body. Now I am asking her to hold the breath, but even then she is continuously uh, breathing. So what can I do on this machine? Sal, roko. It's of no use, in fact. She can't. And I cannot uh, provide you any better information regarding the hepatic vein. Third year, you must see, you must see, Sal. Let's proceed further. Now this is uh, the stent, this is uh, placed within the almost collapsed uh, Now this is the portal I am trying to get the common bile duct measures 9.6 mm in this location which is uh, more than expected normal, up to 7 is considered normal with the uh, intact gallbladder. Now you will see a lot of uh, shining uh, echogenic particles all of the, uh, in all of the uh, intrahepatic ducts, everywhere in all segment of the liver, which is consistent with air. This is, this is all air within the, and, uh, within the uh, ducts, intrahepatic ducts, and and yeah, these are all this uh, air. So this is all air everywhere. You can see that. And this is uh, consistent with pneumobilia. Now the one thing that you have to explain to the uh, referring physician is whether the stent is patent or not. So let's see. If you see, this is the stent. This is the stent and here the lumen is seen clear. So the stent is patent anyways, and this is the common mind that this, and uh, this is the common mind that measuring 13 mm from this location. So moving further into the study of this patient, You will see uh, focal focal lien. Two focal lens are seen. They are soft in appearance. Excuse me. Now this is the uh, outer border of the. Uh, gallbladder is filled with calculi and the outer, outer uh, wall is muffled with this uh, solid ecogenic mass measuring approximately 3.8 into 3.9 centimeter and this uh, is consistent with a gallbladder mass because of which uh, a patient is suffering uh, from uh, obstructive jaundice. So this is the mass, hypopoint, soft appearing rather, with posterior e area, a, a small part it's showing ecogenicity. It's it's, this is the ecogenic area of the mass, and this rest of the mass is hypopoic. No posterior or enhancement or calcification is seen. This is the adjacent liver. So the uh, vascularity within this area. So it is not showing any vascularity. And this, 
this mass it's not showing internal vessels or is it Siddhya Jabaji? Let's see from the different angle. Okay, now let's study this mass from here and uh, let's apply a box, color box. Any flow within the mass? No. That's it. Now this is the area of the mass. This this is the mass. And there are no vessels seen within. However, these are the uh, adjacent vessels in the liver. So it's a vascular mass. Clearly realized. And this is the God that is. Iklamba sale ke saroko. Roko kicho sa. Sala babaji zordi. Roko. Now, if you see, uh, this is the gallbladder, full collapsed, full of calculi, and this is the stent uh, oil in it. Now, let's see what the status of the pancreas is. This is the body of the pancreas in transverse section I'm showing you. This is the uh, pancreas. This is the outer surface of the pancreas. This is the pancreas. Okay, now this is the duct within this pancreas and the duct is not dilated. No focal layer of calcification is seen within the pancreas. The measurement is normal. So the pancreas is normal. This is the head of the pancreas. I am showing you in longitudinal section now. This is the head of the pancreas. Now this is the head of the pancreas and here you see this area is the duct and the size of the head of the pancreas which is very normal. These are all air particles within the uh, liver which is consistent with pneumobilia. There is uh, no evidence of any uh, hepato Porta hepatic region uh, adenopathy. There is no evidence of uh, para aortic plant adenopathy. No evidence of uh, Now you again see that there is no close scene within the mass. 